Now what it's done is it's returned my first name and my surname because the username and password were both found and they both matched in the same row of data. So this would be classed as a successful login. So hopefully you understand the concept of this and how it could be used in PHP. Um, we're going to move on to um, some more queries now. Let me just close this window. Um, let's browse for the data. Let's start start from the beginning. So what happens if, let's say, my surname changes, okay? Or let's say my first name changes. It could be anything. So let's uh, assume that uh, this user, Alex, uh, with a password of password, wants to change the name of the first name to Dale, for example. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click um, SQL. Remember that the um, ID is 1. Now within PHP you'd have stored this somewhere in a session. If you've already looked at sessions, that like things like login, um, you'll understand that, uh, that the ID of the user could be stored in a session, so the current user. So in PHP it's quite easy. Once a user's logged in and we've said, yep, yeah, the user logged in is ID 1, we're referencing this user as ID 1 because it's a unique field, we can change anything just by reference being back to this ID 1. And to do this, we're going to say, uh, we're not going to use select because we're not we're not returning any data, we're just changing. What we want to say is we want to say update users set, and then we choose the data that we want to set to a different value. So set first name equals Dale, where ID equals one. So let's just go back to this browse, we'll open that in a new tab. So what we're doing here is we're update, so we're using the update keyword. And by the way, you don't have to do these in capitals, but what happens is if you differentiate um, things like update and set and where in capitals, you can see that this is the difference between your um, structured query language and what you're actually dealing with. So it's a lot easier to see. So what we're doing is we're updating users. So this is the users table here. What we're doing is we're setting the first name equal to Dale. So the first name here equal to Dale. Uh, if you were to just say first name equals Dale, this would update both surnames because we've not specified what ID or what unique field we want to set it by. So set first name equals Dale where the ID equals one. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna select the ID with row one. It's gonna come across and set the first name here to Dale. So let's just click on that, or click on Go rather. And you can see that one row affected, so it's telling us how many rows have been affected. And in this case, one row is good because we're assuming that this is the row that we want to update. So now if we um, come into Browse, let's just close that off, you can see that so you can see that we've successfully um, updated this first name in the table. So you can start to begin to see why this is useful for when we're dealing with PHP. For example, a user might want to change, say, their password, or they might want to change their first name, surname, email address even, anything to do with that. And we can do that easily within our database. Obviously, we're not going to be working inside PHP MyAdmin. We're going to be doing everything from PHP, which is a slightly longer process, but it uses exactly the same queries. And as long as we've got this ID stored somewhere in a session or a cookie, then we can, um, well, probably not in a cookie because that would be unsafe um, to some extent. But um, if it was stored somewhere, then we would um, would be able to do this. So now let's looking at now let's look at deleting rows. So let's say I want to delete this row here, this up with ID two, um, or even ID one. It doesn't really matter. So let's come into our SQL tab again, and what we need to do is we need to this time use the delete keyword. We need to say delete from, and we need to specify the table. So users. That's very important. Uh, delete from users where and then all we need to do is specify the column the well preferably the unique column so if we come back to here where id equals a certain amount you could say where username equals alex or where password equals something but obviously at the moment we're dealing with sort of a user login type table so we're going to delete where you where you use id equals one so it's just why id equals one so this is going to delete from users where id equals one so, oh, just to mention beforehand, we can use um, 
other um, comparison operators, we can say things like greater than or equal to, or e just you know, is equal to, or just greater than or less than, and things like that. But obviously for now we're just deleting a single row, so where id equals one. If we click go, uh, do you really want to? So it's giving us a confirmation message because it knows that we're deleting. We can click OK. Um, it will say one row deleted. Um, it will give us our query back. Now what we can do is we can just um, close this off, click on browse, and you can see that that row has been deleted. So what happens now if we want to reinsert a whole new row of data? We've already looked at inserting the data manually, but from PHP we're going to want to say create a user account. We want to insert the data um, from scratch basically. So how are we going to do this? We click on insert. Um, oh no, we don't we click on SQL because we're doing it manually. So I want to say insert into, so it's pretty much English language, it's, it's easy to follow because you can uh, get it stuck inside your head easy exactly what you're doing. So insert into, obviously we're specifying the table we want to insert, insert into. So insert into users, then we use values and we have two brackets. Now inside here, are the values we insert corresponding to um, the fields. So let's just browse this. Now this is the shorthand way of doing it and this is what I'm going to be using. You can do it properly and long and specify each field name as you go along but I'm just going to be saying insert into users and then I'm just going to put the values in here. They are in um, they're going to be in a uh, single quotation marks separated by a comma. So at the moment, if we have a look, we've got one, two, three, four, five different fields. So we need to insert five different bits of data. So we've got one here, two here, three here, four here, and five here. Or the other way around, it start at one, two, etc. So they're comma separated values. They're um, we're using uh, single quotation marks. Now ID. Um, can be left blank we know that because uh, we this is auto increment the next value we insert is going to have an ID of 3 because we're coming from the last value inserted to so we need to insert a username a password a first name and a surname so what we do is we insert say Alex password Alex and Garrett now, if we don't specify, say, the last field here, we're going to be returned with an error. Let's just have a look at that. Column count doesn't match value at count value count at row one. Now, if you are ever trying to insert data from PHP um, and you are echoing out the sort of like results of your query, if you know you may have an error um, and you get this, this is basically what what you need to focus on. You need to make sure that you're inserting the data required. If you don't want to insert a surname, for example, you still need to specify with these uh, inverted commas or rather single quotation marks. However, you just you can't leave it out, so you have to insert. You know, can be blank. So I'm just going to put Garrett in for now. Um, okay, so that's basically our simple query to insert data. So each of these uh, we've comma separated correspond to our. Uh, our column names, our field names. So we've got ID as the first one, we've got username as the second one, which is Alex, then we've got the password, then we've got the first name and the surname. Okay, so we've inserted them in order where they correspond. So let's click on go. You can see that one row is inserted, inserted row ID at three. So now let's go and click on browse and see what we've got. You can see that we've now reinserted the value um, or the row with Alex, password, Alex and Garrett and this is now ID of 3. Now what happens if I delete all of these, just simply using this delete here, um, and now what I want to do is insert a new piece of data, so I'm going to go just insert anything. Okay, so we've inserted some data and now you can see that it started at ID 4. Let's say we wanted to go back and we want to start at ID 1 again. Now, let's just delete that. You can use this tab called um, in operations and if you come down, you can see auto increment. We can change this back to zero. If we click on go, 